That's the last of your bags. Actually, Spike, I've got one last pile of bags over there. Won't you be a dear? Sure. I'll be a dear. An entire week in the fabulous city of Manhattan! Plus, all of my very best friends there with me! Of course we'd all come along to support you during Fashion Week Rarity. Not that you'll need it. We're sure you'll win. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am that you'll all be there with me! However, perhaps I can show you... What's that? Oh, 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 I know! A paper fan! No, it's a magic trick! You know, where I pick a card and remember what it is and then you put it back in the deck so you can't look at it and these are tickets to the hottest musical on Bridal Way! You couldn't mean Henny of the Hills. Because that show's been sold out for months. Or could you? I could. I do. Oh, Rarity, you didn't have to do that. But since you did... Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Come along. Place to stay only a block from the train station in the very heart of this glorious metropolis. Hey, look! There's a the theater where Henny of the Hills is playing. Oh. Wow, Rarity, how'd you manage to get us seats for tomorrow night? Well, I gave some designs to the costume designer, so he pulled a few strings. Cool! That is what makes Manhattan so splendid and amazing. You do something nice for some pony, and then you never know when they'll do something nice for you. So then you can do something nice for us. Like get us in to see any of the hills. Which is only the best musical in all of Equestria. It must be good if Rainbow Dash is impressed. Normally she doesn't even like musicals. I know. Pony's just bursting into song in random places at the drop of a hat. Who does that? Oh, Manhattan, what you do to me? Such a huge, bustling community. And there's always opportunity to do the friendly thing. If some are grouchy, pay no mind. Surprise instead with something kind. Lo and behold, you may just find. Please allow me to take those bags to your room for you. Only if you'll accept this gratuity first. Oh, 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 I'll get you changed. Do keep it all. I insist. Generosity, I'm here to show all that I can give. Generosity, I'm here to set the bar. Just sit back and watch how I live. After you. I thank you. Please take mine. Wow, okay. Some may say, rarity, don't be so big hearted and bold. Treating strangers like their friends. This town's too big and cold. But this is how I play my cards. I'm not about to fold. Where I see a friend. Oh, Manhattan, what you do to us? What if you find a gloomy gus? It's no intimidating thing. Just be kind without a fuss. Generosity, I'm here to show all that I can do. Generosity, you are the key. Manhattan, I'm
dresses could soon be displayed on the most glamorous shopping thoroughfare of the most glamorous city in Equestria. Oh, it would be my dream come true. Is there anything left to do we can help you with? Hmm, nothing I can think of. The dresses are all completely finished, all made from a fabulous new fabric I've been developing for months. Stretchy, but not clingy. Shivery, but not showy. Sounds amazing. There's nothing left for me to do but check in at the runway with my dresses by two this afternoon. Well, that's funny, because that clock over there makes it seem like that's only ten minutes from now. Oh, my ribbons and threads. And the runway ballroom is all the way across town. If I don't get there, I'm disqualified. Taxi! Oh, no. We've got to help her find a cab now. I'm on it. Hey, buddy. Is this cab taken? The line ends back there, buddy. Huh? What? Does every pony in this town want a cab? I'm afraid getting a taxi at this time could prove almost impossible. Please, won't you let her have this taxi? She has somewhere very important to be right away. Not likely. She can get in line like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, it's no use. The cab drivers just drive right past to get to the next pony in line. The wheel works like a charm. So now, which of you nice folks are hopping in? Fashion Runway Plaza in seven minutes. Can you make it? Hang on! <laughs> that was close. Uh -huh. yeah. Any pony else got a sneaking suspicion we're forgetting something? The dresses! Good afternoon, I'm here for Fashion Week. Every pony's gathered in front of the runway and about to start, so you'll just have to bring your dresses along with you and store them backstage later. My, my dresses? How could I possibly forget them? <laughs> Got them right here, ma'am. Your friends told me you need these in a hurry, so I offered to race them over myself. Anything for that nice mare, I told them. <laughs> with seconds to spare. <laughs> Hello, every pony. Pleased to meet you all. Rarity, I presume. You must be Prim Hemline, the host of this grand event. <laughs> how do you... Miss Rarity, how is it that all your competitors are here half an hour early and yet you arrive seconds before we begin? Oh, uh, <laughs> just lucky, I guess. Once we're done here, you're to finish setting up backstage so you'll be ready for your run-through appointment. You'll show your designs last. We keep to a precise schedule, so let's try to be more than a few seconds early, hmm? Tomorrow is the contest to see which one of you gets to stay to meet top designers all across the city. The rest of you must go home early. So sad. Dismissed. I'm so glad you made it, Rarity. <gasps> me too. But everything just seems to keep working out. Don't you remember me? Suri Polo Mare from the Ponyville Knitters League? Oh, yes, of course, of course. I thought you looked familiar, but then I couldn't place it. You haven't been back in years. Because I moved here to make it in the big city. <laughs> okay. Oh, good for you, sir. Oh, it's so good to see you. And now here we are, competing. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Well, good luck. Oh, I don't need luck. Would you like a hoof with your things? Why, thank you so much. My, your collection is gorgeous. Oh, now. I'm sure your collection is equally lovely, if not more so. It's all right, but nothing like this. Take my culottes, for example. They are simply crying out for just the right accent, but I haven't the slightest notion where I... <gasps> Actually, just a touch of this fabric could be perfect with it. Oh, hey, would you mind terribly if I took a swatch? Oh, not at all. Here, I have loads extra. You're sure? Positive. Well, it's been wonderful getting caught up, and I, I don't wish to be rude, but I need to finish my preparations, and I am a bit late as it is. Hello. I'm here half an hour early for my run-through appointment, just the way Prim likes. Get in line over there. Oh, my. That fabric's gorgeous. Did you make that yourself? Uh, why, yes. It's stretchy, but not clingy. Shimmery, but not showy. And the entire line is in the same adorable pattern. It works on everything from skirts to tops to shoes. <laughs> oh, bravo! I've never seen 
anything like it. You stole my fabric! <laughs> I didn't steal it, okay? You gave it to me, remember? I gave you the fabric for accents, not for your whole line. And how could you possibly make all those outfits out of it so fast? Fast? Ha! Coco Pomel here took practically forever. Nearly got me completely disqualified. Well, I wanted to make sure you'd win, so I took the extra time to... Quiet! I pay an assistant to sew and get coffee, not talk. Okay. How could this happen? Oh, sweetie, don't blame yourself. It takes some small-town fillies a while to learn it's every pony for herself in the big city, okay? <laughs> Hope you realize how fortunate you are to have me as a mentor. Now get me some coffee! Oh my gosh, what a great afternoon. That was almost too much fun. Better pace yourself, cause the rest of the day is jam-packed. First, there's the salon appointment to get our veins done. Then our fancy dinner at the Far Afield Tavern. And after that, hitting up the heels! <laughs> is everything okay? You got the dresses the bellhop brought you and everything, right? <laughs> but he said he brought them. And then Suri stole them! I let one of the other contestants use some of my one-of-a-kind fabric, and then she turned it into a wardrobe just like mine. Only now it looks like I'm the one copying her. My generosity has ruined me, I tell you. Ruined! Now, Rarity, whatever went wrong, we're all here to help you get through it, no matter what it takes. Uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Rarity, buck up. All we need is some fabric and you'll be back in business. <gasps> this new line is going to be marvelous, perhaps even better than the last. It's daring, it's bold. Perhaps I still have a chance after all. <laughs> Twilight, sew these pieces together according to that pattern there. You said if we skipped dinner at the Farfield Tavern, you'd order a meal for us to eat while we keep working. Don't fret. It'll be here in an hour. That's not going to be a problem, is it? Well, we're supposed to be watching any of the hills by then. Oh, I see. I go out of my way to get you tickets for a show, and this is how you repay me? By abandoning me in my hour of need? any of the hills tonight and then tomorrow morning when you come to see my fashion show without any fashion to show you can have more entertainment <gasps> oh why look there's our friend rarity going down in flames isn't friendship magic rarity calm down what's gotten into you what's gotten into you oh, go ahead see your little show congratulations fillies sounds like you all figured out already it's every pony That's the last of them. <laughs> Finally! You're welcome! Let's have another round of applause for Suri Polo Mare's amazing collection. <laughs> that fabric! So original! <sighs> <laughs> well, look who's here. Can you show off your copycat collection? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Rarity from Ponyville with her brand new line. And I mean brand new. Hotel Chic. My 
friends. They didn't come. What have I done? Rarity, they all adore you. Aren't you going to tell them about your fabulous pieces? to go. Uh, come back at once! This is unheard of! How do you do, ma'am? Contest going well? No time to talk. I have to find my friends. Oh, uh, they're gone already. I saw them headed out this morning. Oh, no. Back to Ponyville, I imagine. Oh, they worked so hard on my behalf, and I repaid them with unkindness. What have I done? Oh, here you are. Uh, but, miss, uh, I, I didn't do anything! Oh, main Hatton, what have I done? The thought of Fashion Week was fun. But I went way too far. My friends gave to me moment with Prim Hemline. I have to rush back to Ponyville, but I just wanted to thank her first for... Uh-uh-uh. You best steer clear of Prim for a while. She's pretty furious. Isn't that right? Um, yes. Mm. There you all are. I can't believe it. I thought you went back home. We missed the show because we overslept. Suri told us you lost. We're really sorry. I lost? You know what? I don't even care. I'm just happy you're all still here after how I treated you. Taking advantage of your friendship the way I did, how could you ever see past it? Yeah, you were pretty rotten. Wow, Applejack. I know your thing is honesty, but come on! Last night we may not have seen you at your best, but we know you, and we would never let one thing like that change how we feel about you. Oh, thank you. You really are the most wonderful friends a pony could have. You know, I already arranged to make it up to you this afternoon. Hope you're all available for an exclusive performance of Hinny of the Hills! <laughs> <laughs> and that is how it's done. <laughs> Pretty clever how I convinced her to stay away from Prim, wasn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't have wanted her to find out the truth now, would we? get them to agree to do an extra performance just for us. Remember my costume designer friend who got me the tickets? Well, I offered to make all the costumes for his next show. Um, here in Manhattan? Well, um, yes. It will keep me away from Ponyville for a while. <sighs> but I so wanted you to see this show. And working for this designer is such a great opportunity. We know. We're happy for you, Rarity. We're just sad for us. Mind if I join you? Sure. Come on down. This is the first place trophy for Fashion Week. With my name on it. But I thought I lost. You didn't. You won. Suri was hoping that if you didn't claim your prize, the judges would consider it a forfeit and first place would go to her. So, she lied to make you and your friends go away and... Well, I lied too. I've worked for Suri for so long, I started to believe that it really is every pony for herself in this town. 
until I saw how generous you were with your friends and how generous they were with you. It made me start believing there was something better for me out there. So I, I quit. I brought you something to say thank you. I suppose you'll need a job now that you're no longer with Suri. How would you like to work for my friend making all the costumes for his next show? Main Hutton was simply grand. It was in this magnificent metropolis that I learned that while there are ponies who will take advantage of your generosity, you should never ever let that cause you to abandon your generous spirit. Nothing feels worse than taking advantage of the giving nature of your friends. Just measure the baking powder for you. And when the first layer cools, you can drizzle some of the ganache over it. And don't forget to beat the egg whites for the meringue! I know you can do this, Gummy. You're the best alligator baker I've ever met. My little boy. My little pony bygone griffins of greatness, but griffins were known to be rude, insensitive bullies. You mean Gilda? Yeah, I mean Gilda. When she came to Ponyville, she was a total jerk to all my friends, especially Pinkie Pie. She was a bit of a party pooper. Mm-hmm. So maybe Gilda was a little rude. You still get to go to Griffinstone, and according to this book, it has a rich, fascinating history. In ancient times, griffins were known to be as greedy as dragons, always hoarding their bits and other treasures. But all that changed when King Grover found the mysterious golden idol of Boreas. Legend says the idol of Boreas was made from the dust of golden sunsets, blown across the mountains by the north winds. Possessing the idol of Boreas filled the griffins' hearts with pride. It's said that that one great treasure is responsible for turning Griffinstone into the most majestic kingdom of all the land. And why do you care so much about griffins anyway? It was actually Gilda's visit that made me curious. So I picked up bygone griffins of greatness, and I've been hooked ever since. And now, <sighs> now you two get to see Griffinstone with your very own eyes. Huh? Just me and Rainbow Dash? Hey, you can totally take my place if you want. <laughs> I still had half a nap to finish. Why don't you just come with us? I mean, you are the princess of friendship. 
No, no. If the map wanted me to go to the coolest kingdom in all of Equestria and tour the palace and see the actual idol that unites an entire species, which would be super amazing, I'm sure it would have said so. You two can handle whatever the issue is just fine. I'll stay here and do important princessy things, I guess. Well then, come on, Dashy. We're going to Griffinstone. <sighs> fine. That's the spirit! <laughs> Twilight literally wrote a book on what we need to do in Griffinstone. You mean like a guide on how to figure out what problem we're supposed to fix? And then some. It's like Twilight herself in book form. Always carry plenty of bits. The Griffins are sure to help you as long as you share the web. <laughs> uh, can I borrow some bits? Upon arriving at Griffin Gorge, be sure to pause and cast your eyes northerly up the Hyperborean Mountains, taking in the breathtaking beauty of Griffinstone. Once in Griffinstone proper, go immediately to the palace and introduce yourself to the king. Bygone Griffins of Greatness was written a long time ago, and it ends with the coronation of the 14th king of the Griffins, King Guto. I have no idea who's in charge now. Tell the king you've been sent by the Princess of Friendship, and you're there to help with some sort of problem. If for some reason the king can't help, I'd try the Griffinstone Library next. It's a little known secret that if you befriend a librarian, you can usually find out anything. Plus, as a bonus, there's a statue of King Grover outside. <laughs> Photo op! And don't forget to sample some famous Griffin scones. They're supposed to be the best. Aw, Twilight should have come along. Then she could have seen first hope that Griffinstone is. Total. Dump! Ugh. Maybe the map should have called Rarity instead of us. Excuse me, sir? This is Griffinstone, right? Well, that wasn't very nice. See? These Griffins are exactly what I thought they'd be. Maybe we should just find the palace so we can ask the king what's going on. We don't have a king, losers. Hello, Gilda. Dash. Pinky! What are you doing here? Uh, I'm a griffin. What's your excuse, dweebs? Hey, these dweebs are here to help Griffinstone. Help it what? Well, we're not really sure, but it involves a map and cutie marks and problem and... Bored now. Well, if you don't have a king, can you at least tell us where the idol of Boreas is? <laughs> Don't tell me you really believe in that thing. You'd better believe in it. <laughs> the idol was the best thing to ever happen to us griffins. Oh, great. Now you got Grandpa Gruff started. I'll tell you the whole tragic tale. <laughs> For a couple of bits. <sighs> the first Griffin King, King Grover, united our kind like we've never been united before or since. And then he did it all with that incredible idol of Boreas. And that idol brought pride to the heart of every griffin that saw it. From one king to the next, Griffinstone and our golden idol were the envy of all other species. It held us together, gave us an identity, right up until the reign of King Guto. That's when our mass became to steal our Griffin treasure. King Guto tried to fight him off. But our Amaski managed to get away with the idol. They say when our treasure fell into the abysmal abyss, our pride went with it. King Guto was the last king of Griffinstone, and we all lived miserably ever after. <laughs> 
The end! That was the saddest story ever! Oh, well, uh, tough tail feathers! No refunds! No wonder Twilight's book ended with the coronation of King Gudo. Who would want to record a history that sad? It's not sad! Do we look sad to you? Pinky, I think I know why the map sent us here. We need to find the idol of Boreas and bring glory and pride back to Griffinstone. Ha <laughs> ha, here we go. Typical pony hero complex. None of us care about that dumb old idol. Don't you get it? We don't care about anything. And that's the way we like it. I think Rainbow Dash is right. The map sent us here to fix some sort of problem. The only problem Griffinstone has is you! <laughs> Well, I don't care what she says. We're gonna find that treasure, make Griffin's Stone cool again, and get back to Ponyville. Come on! Oh, wait, Rainbow Dash, what about Twilight's advice? What, taking a bunch of pictures? Well, she mentioned finding answers at the library. Knock yourself out. But when you get bored with Twilight's tour book, I'll be at the abysmal abyss finding the idol of Boreas. I'm here to find your missing idol and save Griffinstone! Uh, I'll need some rope, a grappling hook, and a guide to take me down to the abysmal abyss. And I'll need some bits. Hey, Gilda! Word on the street is that Griffinstone has an amazing library chock full of answers! Word on what street? Okay, maybe not this street, but on other streets, your library is the talk of the town. The library's right there, so why don't you go inside and leave me alone? <gasps> maybe it's good that Twilight didn't come. It's sad what happened to your town, King. But Rainbow Dash can't be right. This can't all be because of a missing hunk of gold. You're right, Pinky. And you've got amazing hair. Ah, King Grover, you old charmer. <gasps> I know what Griffinstone needs. Fewer ponies. I've got a super song about smiling that's sure to make even the most grumpy Griffin grin! Can't sing here. But uh, how do you break into uplifting musical numbers with no singing? Yeah, that's Griffinstone's biggest problem. Lack of uplifting musical numbers. Well, if I can't sing, how about a party? If there's one thing these Griffins needs, it's some good cheer! Where's your party store? No party store? Uh, how about cake? Nothing cheers folks up like cake. Where's the bakery? Ugh. No singing, no party store, no bakery! What is this place? You're welcome to leave at any time! Well, that just takes the cake. Wait, no, it can't take the cake because there is no cake! Or muffins! Or griffin scones! Oh, we got griffin scones. That's my specialty. I'll buy one! Bits first. Well? What? You like it? That's my Grandpa Gruff's secret recipe. Ow! I think I broke a tooth! Well, whatever. No refunds. I don't even care anyway. I just want to sell enough of these so I can leave this lousy town. <laughs> I can help you with that. Uh, you think you could tighten the strap on my helmet? Can you give me more bits? <sighs> Never mind, I got it. So, how deep is this abyss? How deep are your pockets? Don't you griffins ever talk about anything but bits? Give me some bits and I'll answer. No wonder Gilda's such a delight. Gruff's recipe is good, but it's missing one important ingredient. Don't tell me. Friendship? Uh, no. Baking powder. Lucky for you, I never leave home without it! Now just pop those in the oven and you'll have Griffin scones worth their weight in gold! <laughs> Greta! What are you 
talking about? You just helped your friend up when she got knocked down. What? Her? Greta's just some griffin I know. We don't have friends here. <sighs> I did have a friend once, but you saw how that turned out. Oh my gosh! I gotta go find Rainbow Dash! See ya. You sure we can't just fly down? Whoa! Never mind. Totally got my answer there. Just gotta find that golden idol and get out of this place. Problem. Of course it's your problem. She's your friend. Used to be. Can't you remember when she was? Yeah, of course. Doesn't that Griffin know that she's supposed to fly at the Junior Speedsters flight camp? You look bad. Hey there, I'm Rainbow Dash, and you are, uh, Gilda. You sure about that? Stick with me, Gilda, and those guys won't give you any more guff. Me her friend. Duly noted. Except it does. Hang on, loser! I'm coming! What took you so long, doofus? chunk of gold. I'm really 
sorry about how I treated you two. Thanks, Gilda. Apology accepted. And I'm just sorry we didn't get your idol back. Now we'll never be able to solve Gripenstone's problem. That's what I was trying to tell you. The map didn't send us here to find the lost idol of Boreas. It sent us here to replace it with something better. Nothing's better than gold to a griffin. That's because you don't have friendship. If you can learn to care about each other again, Gripenstone could be a mightier kingdom than it ever was before. And you don't need some golden idol to do that. You just need each other. Whoa, Pinky. That was really sappy. Eh, what can I say? That's how I roll. Go on, Gilda. Go make a friend. I don't know, Pinky. You really think these griffins are up for this? We aren't exactly in Ponyville, you know. Okay, so she was really weirded out until I gave her the scone. Then she tried it and said it tasted good. That's the first nice thing any griffins ever said to me. Whoa, Pinky. I guess that really was the problem we needed to solve. Baking powder makes baked goods and friendships fluffy and delicious. Mm. Well, we better be heading home. What? Y you want me to spread friendship here by myself? How am I supposed to do that? I haven't even made one single friend yet. No, you haven't. You've made two. Hugging! Hugging now! But you'll come back and visit, right? Just try and stop us. See you later, you old charmer. Uh, Pinky, who are you talking to? No pony! Come on, let's go home and see how Gummy did with Granny Pie's marjolaine recipe. <sighs> you know the worst thing about you being the princess of friendship? The dishes. Thanks for taking care of that, Spike. After three events in one week, I really needed to relax with a good book. That's kind of funny, isn't it? All these ponies coming to you for advice about friendship. What's funny about that? You know, because you used to be famous for being such a bad friend. What are you talking about? I had good friends in Canterlot. Come on, Twilight. Look at the wall. Do you see any photos from before we moved to Ponyville? And look at you now, the princess of friendship. <gasps> this is a disaster. All my old friends. I can't remember any of their names right now. But do you really think that they think I'm a bad friend? Well, I only meant that you've come so far. Well, you're a great friend now and... Oh, I feel terrible. I've got to make it up to them. Pack a bag, Spike. We're going to Canterlot. And make a list of my friends' names. Uh, me and my big mouth. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Come on, Twilight. You're getting worked up about nothing. The only logical place to start is at the beginning. Oh, it's exactly how we left it. <gasps> Look, it's predictions and prophecies, and it's still open to the elements of harmony. And here's that present I was going to give Moondancer. Mm, guess she won't be needing that. Hey, look! The rest of it's still here! How could I have let this happen?
Come on, Twilight. Princess Celestia gave you an assignment. No pony could blame you for that. But look at the way I left this place. It's a total mess. Just like how I left my friendships. I've got to make it up to... Oh, uh, Minuet, Twinkle Shine, Lemon Hearts, Lyra Heartstrings, and Moon Dancer. Yeah, them. We've got work to do. Uh, have you been awake all night? I did a little research, and I think I know where we can find Minuet. That is one of my friends, right? Uh, it's not too late to forget I opened my big mouth. Oh, Spike, I'm glad you opened your big mouth. These ponies have probably been suffering ever since I left, wondering why their supposed friend would treat them so badly. Inuit? Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> you old so-and-so! What are you doing here? Hey, Spike! Look at these wings, huh? <laughs> hey, grab a picture of me and the princess, will ya? I tried to tell my co-workers we used to be friends back when, <laughs> but they've never believed me. Wait, wait, wait. Really slough them up, huh? <laughs> so what are you doing here? I mean, I know you're here all the time, but you never come to see me. Hey! I just had the greatest idea! You want to go see Lemon Hearts and Twinkle Shine? Of course! My old friends! It'll be great! <laughs> Come on, let's fly! Get it? <laughs> this is perfect. I can apologize to all three of them at once. Let's hope they're not as traumatized as Minuet. <laughs> she did! Twinkle Shine literally spit out her own she heard you were the princess of friendship. Oh, we saw you at the coronation. That was some shindig. You did? Sure. Oh, we see you all the time. You remember our old friend Lyra, right? <laughs> she lives in Ponyville, too. We're always over there visiting her. Or she's coming over here. <laughs> We've thought about asking you to join us from time to time, but we just sort of figured you'd moved on. Oh. So what brings you by anyway? All those times you've come back to Canterlot, you've never had donuts with us before. Well, uh, you see... <sighs> I came to apologize. For what? Before I left Canterlot, I didn't really appreciate my friends. And that's because I didn't know how important friendship was. But I've learned so much since I moved to Ponyville. I learned what it means to be a good friend, and that I certainly wasn't one to the three of you. So for all the pain I caused you, I am truly sorry. Take it personally, but it's really good to see you now. Hey, any pony up for a blast from the past? <gasps> it's our old science lab. I have so many great memories of this place. <laughs> Remember when Lemon Hearts got her head stuck in that beaker? <laughs> <laughs> But according to this book, you're supposed to add the sodium chloride first. I read ahead, and to make a proper salt lick, you need to add the molasses first. Well, I read ahead too, Moon Dancer, and I'm sure it said sodium chloride first. Oh, I've got the wrong book. That's so hilarious. <laughs> Whatever happened to Moon Dancer? Moon Dancer? Yeah, you know, our other friend. Oh, right, Moon Dancer. I remember her. I wonder 
know what she's up to. Yeah, I always liked her. We just sort of lost touch after you left. I think she went to live out by the stadium, didn't she? Well, let's go see. I think this is the place. Didn't used to look like this, though. I'm trying to study. It's us, your old friends. Ugh. <laughs> That's old Moon Dancer, all right. She always did like her books. Hey, kind of like you used to be, huh? <laughs> exactly how I used to be. Twilight. We've been watching her for three days. Library house. Library house. That's it. No pony looks at her or says hello or even gives her a smile. It's like she doesn't even exist. Was she always like this? Well, she always was a little shy. But for a while there, she was really starting to come out of her shell. Remember when she threw that party? Oh, right. I think you might have been busy that day. There you are, Twilight. Moon Dancer is having a little get together in the West Castle courtyard. You want to come? Oh, sorry, girls. I got a lot of studying to catch up on. Thought she might finally be letting her guard down a little with that party. We invited her out a few times after that, but she was always too busy studying. So eventually, we just stopped asking. I had no idea that party was so important to her. I've got to find a way to make it up to her. to catch up. For what purpose? You know, because we're friends. Shh. I'm really sorry to bother you. I was just hoping we could go outside and talk for a bit. You did once, and I was so caught up in my own studying that I didn't take your feelings into account. Look, Twilight Twinkle. Sparkle. Whatever. I just need to be alone so I can study without some crazy pony trying to make friends, all right? Fine. Wait. How did you get into my book like that? I've been studying a new studying technique. I can only do it for a few minutes, but you'd be amazed how much you can pick up when you're actually in a book. That's one of Haycart's methods. You know Haycart? Of course, he's a genius. I have a copy of his treaties on ponies, you know. What is this place? This is where I used to live. You mean, I never had you over? Wow, a first edition of Principles of Magic. Hey, didn't I give this to you? Maybe? I did. Look, I even wrote something. To my friend, Twilight Sparkle. Thanks for introducing me to the classics. I can see by the fact that you left it here that it meant a lot to you. 
Look, I didn't bring you over here for even more poignant reminders of what a bad friend I was. I brought you here to give you this. You can come here whenever you want and study to your heart's content. Really? But first, you've got to do something for me. What? Have dinner with our old friends tonight. I can't. I'm reorganizing my biology schools. I've been spending a lot of time with Minuet, Twinkle Shine, and Lemon Heart since I've been back. They really miss you. Look, I already told you. The last thing I need is a bunch of ridiculous friend making keeping me from studying. Moondancer, wait! A wise pony once taught me that there's more to life than dusty old books. I tried friendship, and it's just not for me. Now if you'll excuse me. What if I taught you Haycart's method? So, uh, what are you studying these days? Science, magic, history, economics, pottery, things like that. Yowza! <laughs> You planning on being a professor or something? No. So you're just studying. Can I go now? Moon Dancer, please. It's all right, Twilight. We're having a good time. Right, every pony? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Spike, tell Moon Dancer that story about how Twilight had to read a book about doing the sleepover. <gasps> Slumber 101? I've read that. Oh, <laughs> really? Well, uh, did you know Lemonheart's here works at the Canterlot Palace? Uh, yeah, it's true. I do the big events mostly, state dinners, that sort of thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Moon Dancer, you've got to give friendship a chance. Duh. I gave friendship a chance a long time ago. It didn't work out then, it isn't gonna work out now. Twilight, are you all right? No, no I'm not. W where are you going? I don't know, Spike. I really messed this one up. That party was everything to her. I can only imagine what it must have felt like when I didn't show up. Hey, Moon Dancer! Look at this spread, huh? Thank you so much for coming. Of course. We wouldn't miss one of our best friends' parties. Is Twilight coming? Oh, okay. Hey! We'll still have fun, right? <laughs> sure. There was only a way to undo the damage. I know what I need to do, and I know just who can help me. Ha! Huh. Guess they must have gone back to Ponyville. home, but not to throw in the towel. I went to get my secret weapon. Minuet, meet... Hey, Pinkie Pie! Hi, Minuet! Twilight, you didn't say Minuet would be here. You two know each other? Oh, sure. She was one of Cadence's bridesmaids. We hang out all the time when she's in Ponyville. Didn't you know that? Huh? And you call yourself the princess of friendship. Twilight briefed me on the way here. We'll need 15 bags of and as many hooks as we can get. Let's go! We can pass by the donut place on the way. And what are we gonna do? Just come with me. Ooh, a brief history of the wagon harness. Huh? The life and times of Marwari the Mainless? What is this? It's a 
a party for you. <laughs> Come on in. A thanks, but no thanks. I don't do parties. I know, and I think it's my fault. Back when we were in school together, you invited me to a party. I was so focused on my studies that I didn't show up. Big deal. It was a big deal. And now that I realize how important friendship is, I'd like to make up for my mistake with a new party. A party in honor of my friend Moon Dancer. Please, you've got to let me make this up to you. And you think this is gonna do it, huh? Uh, yes? Well, sure, why wouldn't it? That was only the first time I ever put myself out there, and then you didn't even bother to show up. Then you left town without saying goodbye, even though we were supposed to be friends. I was humiliated. I felt like I wasn't important. I never wanted to let myself be hurt like that again. Those three finally convinced me that I had value, that other ponies might like me and want to be my friend, and you didn't show up! <laughs> You're right. This party can't make up for the way I hurt you. But please, don't let my mistake be the reason you can't be friends with any pony else. We were your friends then, and we'd be honored to be your friends now. <laughs> What? That's the librarian, the bookseller, my sister. You've got a lot of friends, Moon Dancer. I'm sorry, Moon Dancer. I've faced magical creatures, the end of Equestria, all sorts of things. But seeing how my actions affected you, that was one of the worst feelings I've ever had. <laughs> Thank you, Twilight. I never realized how much I needed to hear that. Now, come on, every pony! Let's party! Right? Right! I think it's time for us to go, Moon Dancer. Thank you for helping me make some new friends, even if they are my old friends. Oh, we'll come back and visit soon. That would be great. You still got to teach me that hey cart technique. Deal. Um, Moon Dancer, it got kind of banged up, but here's a little something I wanted to give you back at your first party. But you're reading. I've read all these books already. And? And I'm bored. I want to do something. Things have been so slow around here and I just... Twilight! Twilight! Oh, Twilight, darling! Oh, thank goodness! It seems that my... <sighs> Got here as fast as I could. <gasps> Finally, we've been summoned. I wonder where the map wants us to... Uh, Twilight? Tons of fun! 
a beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Where do you think? to Manhattan. Oh, I've simply been dying to go back for a visit. And now, I return with a purpose. Hmm. It looks like you've been summoned to this particular neighborhood here. We're off to solve a friendship problem in one of the busiest and most vibrant cities in all of Equestria. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> Seems a hair odd, though, don't it? Map calling me to a big city like Manhattan. You may be more of a country pony at heart, Applejack, but the map picked you two because you're the best ponies to tackle this particular mission. But how will we even know what our mission's supposed to be? That neighborhood probably has twice as many ponies as all of Ponyville. <laughs> more like three times. Why, it's not only home to the haypacking district, it's also home to the fashion district! Hmm, shame you weren't called as well, though, darling. You did end up quite a fan of the hustle and bustle of Manhattan on our last visit. It's such an exciting city, and there's still so much I'd like to do there. So many museums and historical landmarks to visit, not to mention all the libraries. But this is your mission. Don't worry about me. I've got plenty of books to keep me busy. <laughs> mm hmm. I just remembered something. The Sisterhood Social! We'll have to miss it. No telling how long we'll be in Manhattan. I sure hope Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle aren't too upset. so fast here. Not at all like back home. Eyes peeled, ears open. Eyes peeled, ears open. Remember, Applejack, you're in the big city now. No moseying. You've got to walk with speed and confidence. my biscuits. I can barely cross the street in this town. How am I supposed to help solve a... Oh! Yes, I think this is the one. No, no. Excuse me. That hat clashes with your mane. Not to mention it's far too large and will undoubtedly obstruct your vision. Oh, dear. None of these will do. Oh, Applejack! What good timing! <laughs> Here, this will do splendidly. Oh, it's lovely. How much would you like for it? Oh, no, no, please, please keep it. I can always make another. Thank you. And you thought we wouldn't discover our purpose here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't it. What? We just saved that poor pony from committing a terrible crime of fashion. We could have been meeting a friend, would have laughed at a new hat, and then their friendship could have been ruined forever. And well, it's possible. Did your cutie mark glow signifying a job well done? Yeah. No, I suppose it didn't. Still, a disaster was averted. Averted? You just lost me a paying customer. Oh my! Oh, I, I am so, so sorry. I never meant to. Beat it! Uh, Please accept my sincerest apologies for the misunderstanding, and might I add, what a lovely establishment you have here! <laughs> You're right, Applejack. <laughs> the search continues. Uh, excuse me, I was just wondering, uh, friendship problem, any pony? 
See, we've been sent here to... A, a map summoned us, and, uh... If you could just take a moment to... Friendship advice! Any pony looking for friendship advice? Good grief. This isn't working. <sighs> I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. To be honest, I'm still not even sure what the map called me here for. Oh, try not to worry, Applejack. The map picked us for a reason. Although how we're supposed to uncover that reason, I haven't a clue. We can't possibly approach every single pony in town until we find out what we're meant to do. Oh! Please help us restore our long-lost but beloved tradition, the Midsummer Theater Revival. Play the guest performance by local theater troupe, the Method Mayors, as well as games, food, and much, much more. This event promises to bring our Brooklyn neighbors together and restore our sense of community, but there's so much to do and we need your help. Huh. <gasps> Darling, this is it! The contact on the flyer is Coco Palmel! All right. She's the one who got a job making costumes for that designer friend of yours. Don't you see? This must be why the map called us here. Oh, and you were so worried. Well, I suppose it's at least worth looking into. That is, if we can ever get off this street corner. I can't believe you found my flyer. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? Applejack and I were specifically summoned here to be of service. And you, my dear friend, are in need of help. It's no coincidence, darling. It's fate! This Midsummer Theater revival, what is it exactly? An outdoor play held at the community park. Many moons ago, local theater troops would perform, and ponies in the neighborhood would help make the costumes and design set pieces, prepare food to share during the performance. Y'all do look like you're enjoying each other's company. Kind of reminds me of Ponyville. It sounds lovely, darling. It was, up until several moons ago. What happened? That's Charity Kindheart. She was a well-known costume designer on Bridal Way. She started the Midsummer Theater Revival as a way to share her passion for theater with the neighborhood. No matter how busy she was, she always made time for the revival. But when she moved away to be closer to her grand fillies, the neighborhood lost the special tradition she had started. And worse, the sense of community it fostered. Hey! I'm trotting here! No pony elf stepped up to take over for charity? I've been trying to, but I've just gotten a last-minute request to alter costumes for the cast of My Fair Filly, and I'm afraid I haven't made much progress. Oh. There's just so much to do to bring back the Midsummer Revival, and my flyers haven't attracted a single volunteer. Say no more. You finish up your work, and by this time tomorrow, you'll be up to your mane in ponies who want to lend a hoof. Applejack and I will make sure of it. You will? You bet your boots we will. Oh, I don't wear boots. I find they chafe my calves when I walk. It's just an expression. So you see, the Method Mares are only available on this one day, and we need all the help we can get with preparations. Yeah, not a good time right now. <laughs> what am I saying? It's never a good time. <clears throat> well, what do you think? I got my own problems. You think I got hours to dedicate to some pony else's? Ah, uh, yes. Charity's Midsummer Theater Revival. Such wonderful memories. So you'll help us? Oh, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I run a very important oat and hay import-export business. I can't spare even a moment for such things. This is a nightmare. Oh, not at all, darling. It's quite lovely. I think she was talking about the Midsummer Theater revival. I finished the alterations for My Fair Philly, but have barely started the costumes for the revival, and the Method Mares are coming to the park tomorrow for a costume fitting and rehearsal. Well, I could help you with the costumes. But what are we going to do about the rest? The park is in desperate need of repairs, and the sets still need to be built. Well, I know a thing or two about building and fixing things. It's kind of, well, my thing. Could be the reason the map called me here. You see, dear, we went out looking for volunteers when all the help you need is right here. Uh-huh. The map wouldn't have chosen just Applejack and me if it was more than we could handle. 
Everything is going to be just fine. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Oh, dear. You're right. Are you sure you can manage this by yourself? Well, there's a lot to do. But Rarity's right. The map wouldn't have called us here if we weren't up for the challenge. You two go on and take care of the costumes. I'll see you at the dress rehearsal. I know it looks bad, but I'm moving as fast as I can. Don't worry. We've still got plenty of time. Everything's going to be... Um, excuse me. Is this where the Midsummer Theatre revival is supposed to be, par chance? Uh, we're here for the dress rehearsal. Oh, yes. We've just put the finishing touches on the costumes. At least those look professional. We'll do a dry run of the play first, and then the fitting. No, wait! I haven't gotten a chance to... Ah! Reinforce the stage yet. I just wanted to live up to Charity's example, to bring my neighborhood together again. The park is still a mess. We haven't even thought about what refreshments to serve during the performance. And even if we had, we don't have a stage for the Method Mayors to perform on. It's hopeless. Just hopeless. I don't understand. The map summoned us here to solve a friendship problem. We clearly found it. But why did it send the two of us? Why not Twilight? I'm sure she could have used her magic to transform this park in an instant. I've been thinking the same thing. I mean, I can at least see why you're here. Coco's your friend, and you have an eye for costumes and all. But me? I was never going to be able to finish a project this big. We'll return to Ponyville as failures. Why must this be Applejack? Why? 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 Now, hold on there. I'm not suggesting we pack up and go home. <laughs> then what are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we stop worrying about what we can't do and start doing what we can. I think I've got a plan. It won't be anything big or fancy, but it'll be something. And something's got to be better than nothing, right? I suppose so. That's the spirit. Sort of. All right, y'all. It's ready. Should we go ahead and start? Excuse me, I'm Charity Kindheart. I'm here about the open design position. I brought some samples of my work. I'm sorry I'm late. I had the hardest time finding my way here. I just moved here, and I keep getting mixed up by the street names. I had a map, but I dropped it in a puddle, which only made the street names harder to read. I see. What is it? I don't know, so that looks like some kind of play. Well, can we stay and watch it, please? Please, can we, can we? Oh, all right. I suppose we could stay for a minute. Excuse me, but your next appointment is here. All right, send him in. I'm sorry, but based on these samples, I just don't think this is the place for you. <gasps> don't get me wrong. These clothes are all exquisite and well-made, but more theatrical than avant-garde. Have you considered costume design? 
I have a contact on Bridalway. If you're interested, I can put you in touch with him. And see. Charity, dear! Is that you? Hello, Mrs. Pear Blossom. I didn't see. Oops. Oh, let me help you, dear. Are these the costumes you've been working on? Yes. I was supposed to be finished by now, but there's just so much to do. And I still have a few last-minute alterations to make before opening night. I'm sorry I couldn't get enough tickets for every pony in the neighborhood. I hope Mr. Pear Blossom wasn't too disappointed. I know Trotter on the Roof is one of his favorites. Oh, my dear Philly, don't worry about that. We are so proud of you. We shall be with you in spirit. Thank you. You've all made me feel so welcome here and have become like family to me. I just wish I could share this experience with you and the others. Yeah, uh, what's going on? It's the Midsummer Theater Revival. The Method Man's up before me. <sighs> the Revival. <laughs> yeah, my pop used to bring me. It's so nice of you to put on this play for the neighborhood. I couldn't have done it without every pony's help. I know it's not bright away, but... Oh, Pistosh! It's perfect, dear. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you. This is so nice. Haven't seen the neighborhood this friendly since Charity moved away. <laughs> Thank you, fillies and gentle colts. Please give a warm welcome to the one who made this entire event possible, our neighbor, Coco Pomel. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming. The Midsummer Theatre Revival was always something that meant so much to me, and it seems it means quite a lot to all of you as well. I really can't take all the credit, though. My dear friends Rarity and Applejack helped me ever so much. Oh, darling, please, it was just a few costumes. Oh, shucks. I just happened to be good with a hammer, is all. To be honest, we had much bigger plans to start. When those fell through, we decided to simplify. This here was the result. Oh, don't be so modest. Coco and I were lost. You bet your boots we were. We just wanted to see how much we enjoyed the Midsummer Theater Revival and how much it inspired us. Oh, yeah? I used to think that to help my community, I had to do something big. <laughs> and let's face it, in this day and age, who has the time for such a commitment? But here, you did something as simple as building a stage and putting on a play, and <laughs> look at how it's brought every pony together. I saw Coco's flyers for volunteers, but didn't think anything I'd have time to do would be that useful. Now I wish I'd offered to help. Even if it was just pulling a few weeds or planting a few flowers. Not sure if you noticed, but the park is far from being fixed up. I imagine if you look around, you'll find there's lots of little ways for you to get involved in changing this place for the better. And I will. And I don't think we'll be alone. <laughs> we did it! Ooh, I understand now. It all makes perfect sense. Huh? I know why the map called you here. You do? If Twilight had used her magic to fix the park, it wouldn't have fixed the real problem. Which is that these Manhattan ponies didn't think they had time to do something for their community. But by building that stage and making sure the play went on, you showed them that just by doing something small, you can make a big difference. Well, I'll be. Seems you have more in common with the Manhattan ponies than you thought. <laughs> but all the same, I'd sure like to head back to Ponyville on the next train. I want to check in with Apple Bloom and find out how the Sisterhood social turned out. Oh, absolutely, my dear. 
Just as soon as I stop that pony and the shop over there from purchasing that dreadfully hideous scarf! Stop! You're making a terrible mistake! Oh. Does every animal have their copy of Weathering Herbs? Friends Book Club. Now, let's discuss the theme of nature as it applies to Hoopcliff's love. Did some pony leave a light on? Oh, it's me. Oh, it's me! We'll continue this discussion when I get back. My little pony, my little pony Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? You're here! Isn't this exciting? You were called, too. Thank goodness. I feel so much better going with a friend. I was about to come and get you, but then I got distracted. Oh. Ever since the map called us, I've been doing a ton of research. Testing out potential friendship problems. Diversifying my solution portfolio. Ever since the map called us? But that happened five minutes ago. I know, but I want to be 100% prepared. I mean, I'm the princess of friendship. How would it look if I couldn't solve a friendship problem? Oh, I'm so lucky I'm being sent with you. Speaking of which, where are we going? The Smoky Mountains. Oh, I've never been there before. Neither have I, and there isn't a lot of information on them. All I could find was this. The Smoky Mountains harbor the most beautiful valley in all of Equestria between its two majestic mountain peaks. That's gorgeous. And where there's nature, there's a ton of animal friends. I can't wait to get started. I'm a little nervous since that's all I could find. I usually like to be a bit more prepared. You seem pretty prepared to me. Are those for us? Yep, I've prepared our things. Snacks, books, Blankets, books. You said books twice. There are a lot of books. Ooh. What do you think our friendship problem's gonna be? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Do you think it'll be a problem about lying? Oh, I'm sure we'll find out when we get there. You're right. Could it be about when two friends just randomly decide to do something together, but they forget to invite the third friend, and the third friend feels left out? Or where one friend tells another friend secret after they ask them not to? We'll know very, very soon, since we're almost there. Hmm. Here, let me get that. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry, I've been a little skittly boppy boo. I just can't believe this is finally happening! Whoa! Whoa! What an equestria is happening! It's nothing like your book said it would be. Oh boy, I'm feeling very unprepared. Where do we even start? Maybe by figuring out where the flying pumpkins are coming from? Ready? Um, hi. Hello. Excuse us, but what are you doing? We're pumpkin in our neighbors. Yes, but, um, why are you pumpkining your neighbors? Well, because the McColts are just plain rotten. Hey, wait a tick. 
Who are you two? You're not spies for the McCombs, are you? I am Twilight Sparkles, the Princess of Friendship, and I'm here to solve your friendship problem. I'm Fluttershy, and, um, I'm here too. Ma Hoofield, pleased to meet you, but you're wasting your time. We don't have a friendship problem. We have a McCombs problem. And there's absolutely no friendship there. Well, maybe there could be if we figure out what the McColts did to make you so mad. Oh, well, they've done so many things. Why, just today, they shot pebbles at our farmhouse and wrecked it. See, we're not very good at building, so all it took was a little pebble. But still! I know what to do. We're gonna talk with these McColts and hear their side of the story. Once we have all the facts, we can put an end to this using reason and rationale. Good plan. That's why she's the princess. In the meantime, could you please call off the pumpkining? Oh, all right. Thanks. Come on, Fluttershy. State your business. Don't even bother. They're probably spies for the hoof fields. Hey, wait. You're an alicorn. I thought just the three princesses were alicorns. There are four alicorn princesses in Equestria now. I am Twilight Sparkle, the princess of friendship. And I'm Fluttershy. We have a new princess? When did that happen? And, and how did the hoof fields come by a princess spy? We are not spies. Why does every pony assume we're spies? Because we don't get a lot of visitors. I'm Big Daddy McCult. You caught us at a weird time. We're in the middle of a giant feud with our terrible neighbors! Neighbors! Well, actually, that's why we're here. To solve your problem with the hoof fields. So you're here to help us get rid of them. No, that's not what I meant at all. Well, if you ain't for us, you're against us. We are not on any pony's side. We're here to help you become friends again. Well, that's gonna be hard. I don't believe we've ever been friends with the Huffield. But you could be. They're just really upset you ruined their farmhouse. Wait a hog woggling minute. We only did that because the Huffields pulled the pin out of our wagon wheel. A whole week's worth of food rolling down the mountain. Us McCoats are mighty fine builders, but we don't know the first thing about farming. We have to travel a ways away to buy our food. Now, we'll be stuck eating the pumpkins the Huffields launched at us. Pumpkin bread, pumpkin soup, pumpkin quesadillas, pumpkin pie, pumpkin cheese, pumpkin pie, pumpkin fritters. Actually, that all sounds pretty good, but it'll get old. Have you tried meeting at a neutral location, talking about your problems, and really listening to each other? What? No! They'd sooner launch their dinners at us and listen to us. Well, they'll listen to me. I'm an impartial third party. Attention, Hooffields and the Colts! I'm not on any pony side, but I can see you're both wasting time and resources on being mean to each other. Ponies are supposed to help each other and be kind. So let's stop this senseless fighting! There, that should do it. Ready to go home, Fluttershy? I'd love to, but if we solved the problem already, shouldn't our cutie marks be glowing again? Oh yeah, they should be glowing any minute now. So 
much for potential friendship solution number 28. I guess we should find out why the hook fields are launching tomatoes now. One at a time, Green Hoof. If you smush them tomatoes in the slingshot, they won't break on the McCulls. What are you doing? I asked you to stop fighting. Oh, is that what you were hollering about? We thought the McColts rubbed you the wrong way, so we tomatoed them for you. My mistake. Stop the tomato slingshots! Reload the tomato slingshots! We're gonna paint their mountaintop red! Well, that didn't work. I was so sure it would. a good plan. We need to think of another one, and soon this fight is really affecting the animals around here. Not to worry. I'll just, uh... Find the root of the problem and work from there. Pardon us, Ma, but do you remember what started this whole feud in the first place? They know what they did. They know what they did. I'm starting to think neither of you know what either of you have done. Sure we do. Them hookfields did us a grave injustice some time ago for some reason. Here, here! Okay, backup plan to the backup plan. Maybe we can find some common ground that you can bond over. What do you do when you're not fighting? That's easy, getting ready to fight. What do you hope to get out of fighting? The satisfaction of winning! Of winning what? The fight, of course! To prove our family is the best! The best at what? Winning! Haven't you been listening? So the only thing they have in common is that they both want to win a fight and neither of them know what it's over. How can I end this feud if I don't know what it's about? Ooh, maybe somebody just needs to say they're sorry. That's a good idea. And friendship solution number 48. But we can move it up. I'm so glad you agreed to do this. This apology cake will go a long way to making amends between you two. Which part of my argument changed your mind? The part where I said the benefits of friendship outweigh the cost of war? Or the part where I said forgiveness is an investment in happiness? Yeah, yeah, all of it. Wait, are you even listening to me? Who goes there? It's Ma Hoofield! Hoofield alert! Arm the cannons! With an apology cake! Did you say cake? As in cake? Consider it a gesture of goodwill from us to you. I haven't had cake in ages. Open the gates! It's such a beautiful cake. Think of this as more than just a cake. It's the first step in the long road to forgiveness. Nothing says let's be friends like a cake that says let's be friends. I wrote that in icing on the top. For glory! About apologizing. Why in a question would we do that? We didn't do anything wrong! What are you talking about? You done so many things wrong! Not as many as you! Yes, 
us so much, or maybe stop saying words altogether. probably get back there. I mean, if you need a break, that's fine, but I really can't do this without you. I don't know if we can do this at all. Even if I make things right, they're just gonna fight again. Hey, little fellas. Well, that's okay. You can come out. What was that? You poor things. There isn't enough food here for you. Oh, brr, and you're freezing. I'm gonna take you all home with me and get you all hot cocos. How do you feel about book clubs? I don't get it. This was supposed to be the most beautiful valley in all of Equestria. What happened? What's that? Oh. Uh-huh. Twilight! They know what happened here. What? Stop! You have to listen to me! Every pony free! Free! Fluttershy! You have to tell them! Ugh. It's a lot harder to freeze an army of ponies than just six of them! Before you keep fighting, there is something you should know. Long ago, there were two best friends, Grubblefield and Piles McColt. When they found the valley between the Smoky Mountains, they knew it was something special. So they made a promise to each other to protect and preserve the valley for all its adorable furry inhabitants. But they disagreed on how to go about it. Grub wanted to start by planting crops so that every pony would have something to eat. But Piles thought it would be better to start by building a shelter to protect them against the cold and wind. The two ponies were unable to come to an understanding, so Piles went ahead and built a shelter anyway, exactly where Grub was going to start his farm. Grub was upset, so he tore down Piles' shelter so he could plant his crops. They kept fighting back and forth until it turned into a feud. The valley suffered from the constant destruction until finally the Hooffields and the Colts moved to separate mountains. Even then, the valley and all the animals in it continued to be caught in the crossfire. You see, by fighting, you're destroying the very thing that brought you here in the first place. So it's time you both put your differences aside and come together. If not for yourselves, then for the sake of these cute and cuddly guys. Oh, shucks. We never meant to hurt you, little critters. Yeah, we're sorry. They say they accept your apology. Uh, Princess, uh, you can unfreeze us now. <laughs> oh, right. Ma Hoofield, we promise we won't fight you no more. Us two, except we promise not to fight you. I suppose it doesn't matter who's right. We're both wrong. Well, that's one thing we can agree on. This is wonderful. I am so proud of you two. Oh, thanks, Princess. Though I would just like to point out that I was the, uh, First, to admit I was wrong. 
That may be, but I promise not to fight first. That counts for more. Oh, yeah? Oh, all right. We don't have to speak animal to know what y'all are saying. Truce. Truce. are gonna help us rebuild our homes. Good ones this time. And the uh, hoopbells are gonna help us grow some crops. Not pumpkins. Thanks for teaching us that friendship is so much better than winning a silly argument. Yay! I told you we'd figure it out. We did. And we didn't need my friendship portfolio to do it. We just needed each other. So, what do you think will happen next? We've all been called by the map now. Huh. I'm sure we'll find out when we get home. What if it summons all six of us to another place? Or another pony we weren't expecting? <gasps> what if it wants us to solve other kinds of problems like quantum physics? Or why the apple doesn't 